Coming soon to video cassette. It was the worst jewel heist in history. Ah! Ah! And the only witness to the crime ah! didn't see a thing. Now, Mr. Magoo is going undercover. <laughs> but he doesn't have a clue. <laughs> Magoo is going down! I want you to put some water on the boil and lift both legs high into the air. <laughs> and sand that sucker smooth. I have a surprise. So do I! <laughs> you won't believe. <laughs> Your eyes. Ugliest child I've ever seen. <laughs> Leslie Nielsen. Ooh, I've got a strike! Disney's Mr. Magoo. Coming soon to own on video cassette. Are you ready for some football? From Walt Disney Home Video, the Angels are back. I'm the only one who can see them. Angels. Hello. And this time, open, open. They're taking a ragtag football team. Where does this go? Oh, 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 I see. All the way to the top. Touchdown, Angels! Matthew Lawrence and Christopher Lloyd in a brand new Angels movie. Angels in the End Zone, available to own on video spring 1998. From Walt Disney Home Video, some people go straight to heaven. Others need more time to earn their wings. So you're giving a second chance. I'm the tooth fairy. Black and wing, black and wing. Kirstie Alley. Is the closure cover stopping in your next lesson? A modern day fairy tale with bite. Toothless, available to own on video spring 1998. The Walt Disney Company is proud to announce one of its greatest adventures ever is coming to video for the very first time. Ah. Introducing Disney's 25th animated classic, The Black Cauldron. Come along on an incredible adventure with some exciting new characters. <laughs> the brave warrior Tara. I'll protect you. The beautiful princess. <laughs> the mischievous Gurgi. The magical pig, Henwin. The fiendish creeper. I always get blamed for these things. And the evil emperor, the horned king. Soon, the black cauldron will be mine. If the horned king should find it, nothing could stand against him. Now, Terran and his friends must be the first to find the black cauldron and save the kingdom. The black cauldron can never be destroyed. <laughs> Hurry! It's a legendary tale you'll want to add to your collection. You're quite right. Full of classic Disney action and fun for the whole family. <laughs> for the first time ever on video, the timeless adventure of Disney's 25th animated classic, The Black Cauldron, coming this fall only for a limited time. Music come from? You think there was a new Lion King movie or something? Oh.
Now, our feature presentation. Egg sandwich, glazed donuts, two coffees, and a juice. You want a box for the drinks? No, but I'll rush you for the donuts. Very funny. <laughs> I'm gonna make you laugh one of these days, Sally. You just watch. You don't count on it. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. Buddy. Buddy, look what I got back from the taxidermist. Oh! Beauty, ain't she? You actually paid somebody to do that? Yeah. Do you think hunters throw away their biggest kill? This here is a trophy rat. Right, look, look. Yeah, but we're not hunters, huh? <clears throat> we're gathering, so let's go gather some garbage. You and your rat. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Bonnie, but I should be a hunter. You know, live off my own kills. You'd be eating nothing but rat burgers. Ah. This thing still isn't working. Hang on a second. I wish they'd all go to the plastic pails already. Uh, I could work it. Why can't we just get a new truck so it can work it? I told you why. Yeah, loyalty. loyalty. Come on, Larry. I've been driving Ethel a long time. We're keeping this truck. We're keeping the truck. All right, come on. Let's work. What you got there? I got food. Clothing and housing. Where do you want the new box? Here? No, no. I think I'm gonna move over there. Oh, yeah? Let's see. Oh, yeah. You got a much better view. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Yeah, stay warm, okay, pal? See you, Joe. Hi, Amigas. How are you? Would you like to step in for something to eat? Oh. We're having tuna. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm really stuffed. Thanks. Oh, down, down. Get down, Johnny. Ow! Nice, Kathy. Bye-bye. Bye. Come on, go back. Come on, go. I've been here already five minutes. That's five minutes. What are you, you gonna give me a hard time for five minutes? Yeah, I got a schedule to keep here. Now the trucks can make it on time, so can yours. Next time, you're on report. And with all the layoffs around here, you're lucky to have a job. Oh yeah, Monty. I'm thanking my lucky stars. <laughs> Hey, what do you say, buddy boy? Hey, you want to go outside? Me and you will toss the rock? Well, I was gonna go play with my friends. Oh, oh, okay. Have a good time. Go ahead, huh? Pop just called. He said he'd be over around seven. What's the matter? Do you know about this? He didn't tell me. Oh, hey, pal, uh, this uh, fell out of your, fell out of your book. You're having a career day over at school, huh? Oh, oh yeah. 
I just figured you guys would be too busy. Well, if you'd asked earlier, I could have changed shifts. I have to be at the hospital all day tomorrow. But your dad can go, right? Um, well, yeah, sure. I can make it. I mean, if you want me to. Uh, yeah. You sure? Well, yeah, definitely. I just thought you'd be too busy. Ah, come on. Uh, you know I at least have time for you, right? Well, I'm gonna go back outside, okay? Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Be careful, huh? You think he really wants me to go? Of course he does. Mr. Pratt, Mr. Pratt, Mr. Yes, Mr. Pratt, yes. is there any truth to the rumors that you plan to move the Eagles from Philadelphia? Absolutely not. I'm a lifelong Eagles fan, as you are, and I bought this team because I want Philadelphia to have the kind of football team it can be proud of again. So you'll be staying at Veterans Stadium? Well, no, I didn't say that. The team needs a new stadium. I want the best possible environment and personnel for this team. That's how you put a winner out in the field. So, Mr. Pratt, Mr. Pratt, those are all the questions we have time for. Thanks very much. Can't miss my first game in the owner's box. We'll see you all. Thank you. This could be the last season that the Eagles play at Veterans Stadium. I can't believe they might move. Uh, the new owner, Randolph Pratt, wants a new facility. If it helps them win, I'm all for it. Please, God, one Super Bowl before I die. I'm going to do it for you, Pop. Speaking of veterans, there's Gus Rogenheimer in his 22nd year as head coach of the Eagles. You know, if I was playing pro ball, that's the guy I'd want to play for. He's hard-nosed. Uh, if he had you on his team, he'd be hard up. Uh, what do you mean? I was a pretty good ball player in high school. Yeah, till you quit. And you could have been all city. But as we all know, you were a quitter. Am I ever going to hear the end of that, Pop? You guys need anything? Yeah, no. one more of these, sweetheart. Oh, no, good, thanks. That's a good woman you got there, Barney. Yeah. Well, thanks, Pop. <laughs> she probably could have married a doctor. I love you too, Pop. The catch. Oh! Oh! Philadelphia's down by one with 13 seconds left on the clock. And let's face it, guys, Mitchell has not been kicking the ball well lately. Well, he's going to kick this one. You watch. If he misses this, I'll get onto the stadium. I'll cut off his foot with my buck knife. Here's the snap. The kick is up and... No! Oh, Somebody get my knife! Hey, that's my TV! I'll cut off his foot! Danny, time for bed. Let's go. I want to go to the stadium with Grandpa. Grandpa's going home. Uh, you listen to your mommy, Daddy. We'll cut off his foot some other time. All right, all right, let's go. Come on, nobody's cutting off anybody's foot. Uh, come on, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, come yeah, yeah. All right, night, nice, beady boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look yeah. nice. It's a nice suit, boy. You know what I mean? Take care, Lose the tie. All right. <laughs> Can't I stay up a little longer? Oh, oh, what are you kidding? Come on, tomorrow's a big day. The old man's coming to school, right? Okay in there? Uh, I, I don't feel good. Let me see. 110. We better get you to a hospital. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I just need to rest for a while. Isn't your dad supposed to speak to your class today? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Well, I don't want you going to school if you're feeling sick. I just hope he doesn't say anything embarrassing. Like what? I don't know. Danny used to wet the bed. Joe, here's a little something for the call. Now you stay warm? Well, <laughs> you're gonna be late for career day. Be right back. I'm in a real rush today, Mavis. I'll come tomorrow and pick it up, okay? But I've only got a couple of bags. Okay, then toss him down, all right? Come on. Come on. Hey, that's a good throw there, Mavis. Is that... hey! And here comes the other one. Hi. Did you get it? Oh, yeah. I got it. 
And as I made my approach, I could see about a dozen fire trucks lined up on both sides of the runway with their lights flashing. Oh, cool. And then we finally hit the ground. It was like hitting a brick wall at 400 miles an hour. Boom! And we skidded down the runway for a long ways. And when we finally stopped, I listened for the passengers in the cabin. But it was deadly quiet. And then all of a sudden, they all started cheering. Another extraordinary story, Captain. Do we have time for one more question? Sure, all right, one more. Go ahead. Did you ever fly a plane in a war? Actually, yes, I did a tour in the Persian Gulf, but that is going to have to wait for another time because I have a flight into Miami in gee, 45 minutes. Got to fly. Oh. <laughs> Thanks again, Captain Walker. Well, we have one more speaker scheduled, and that's your father, Danny. Wait, wait, what are you going to show? What, what, are you, what do you mean? Show and tell. you got to show something. Uh, what, I didn't bring anything. Show him Willard. Oh, get out of here. Kids love this stuff. I, I brought over my sisters last night. The little one wanted to sleep with it. I, I'm telling you, b b bring him as a backup. If the kids are staring at you, go with the rat. Okay, okay, give me the rat. No, put it in the bag. What are you? Come on, let me see up. Hey, tell him I killed it. I get the credit. If he doesn't get here soon, I'm afraid we won't have time for him. He probably got stuck in a meeting. Oh, hi. Hello, everybody. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm late. Hi. And uh, that is why the... Uh, <laughs> The sanitation, sanitation engineer is one of the most important jobs known to modern society. Any questions? Uh, is there any danger in your job? The kids seem to enjoy danger. Glad you asked. Yes. Oh, you bet your life there's danger. You're done, kid. You're done, right? There's, every day, I stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with one of the most evil enemies known to me. We call him the Devil's Chow Man. You know him as the Rat. That's all the time we have. Thank you, Mr. Garb... Uh, Gorman. My first game as new owner. An absolute disgrace. I could have made that kick. I'm a winner, coach. I don't like losers. When your team loses, I lose. Ticket sales are down. Television revenue is off. Concessions are at an all-time low. What's your point? If we don't have a winning season this year, I'm afraid we're going to have to make some changes around here. Are you through? Yes. Maybe I should just fire him right now. Coach Rogenheimer's a legend, sir. People would never forgive you. Oh, look, I like Gus Rogenheimer as much as the next fellow, but his team isn't performing. Now, you just stick to marketing, and I'll take care of personnel decisions. Now, let's talk about the new stadium. Oh, speaking of which, I uh, have a surprise sight to show you, but we should fly. Well, I hope it's an improvement over what I've seen so far. Couldn't have been that bad. The other kids were calling Danny Rat Boy. Well, that's what they used to call me. I didn't turn out that bad, did I? This is it, Mr. Pratt. I smell a new stadium. I smell a lot more than a stadium. Okay, you guys are on report. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Look, it was my fault. Put me on report. No, 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 no. You're both on report. 
This site is perfect, Mr. Pratt. There's plenty of room. You've got excellent access. It's a dump, Wendy. My football team's not going to play in a dump. Now, in the future, please think through your little surprises a bit more before you waste my time here. <laughs> I'm still the boss around here, Mr. Suit and Tie. You're also the biggest jerk around here. Hey. You are this close to getting canned. Don't press your luck. Coming? Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, look. You know, I, I know my presentation didn't go as well as I planned. Maybe I can come back and do it right, huh? No. Uh, that's okay. May I be excused? Sure. Don't worry. I'll get over it. Are you okay? You've been walking around like gloomy Gus lately. It never bothers you that I'm a garbage man. As long as you don't bring your work home with you. A job is what you do, not who you are. Hey, well, I'm sick of what I do. Was there something else you want to do? Yeah. Oh, no. I don't know. It's... See, I don't mind the job so much. So I'm ready to do something that people respect a little. People respect you. Oh, yeah, right. When's the last time you heard a kid say, I want to grow up to be a garbage man? My own father doesn't respect me, and now it looks like my son won't either. Well, I respect you. And if you want to quit, go ahead. We can get by on my salary until you find something. Come on. I feel bad enough that you make as much money as I do. I just want you to be happy. I know that, honey. I know. It's just that I can't quit. I mean, Danny already thinks I'm a quitter. Thanks, anyway. By the way... I make more than you do. Excuse me. Hi, Wendy Fox, Philadelphia Eagles. Hey, hey Barney Gorman, Philadelphia Sanitation. <laughs> I was wondering if you could do me a favor, Barney. Well, it depends. <laughs> well, it'll just take a minute. I, uh... I saw you kicking those water jugs yesterday, and uh, I couldn't help wondering if you can kick a football that well. I was it some kind of joke? Well, you know, I haven't kicked a football in a lot of years. Oh, that's okay. Really, there's no pressure. I just want to see what you can do. Okay. Yeah. Right over here? Sure. Great. Right. You sure this, this isn't some kind of joke? No joke. Like you did yesterday. Not sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, that's really good. <laughs> Marie, I'm gonna be a little late for dinner tonight. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. I have a tryout with the Philadelphia Eagles. If you want to go out with the boys, just ask. No, 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 listen, I mean it, I mean it, I'm not kidding. They want me to try out as their kicker. I'm at their practice field right now. Oh, my God. Gus Rogenheimer. I gotta go. Barney, I'd like you to meet our owner, Mr. Pratt. Hello, Mr. Pratt. Hi. Yeah. And this is Coach Rogenheimer. I, I would just like to say, Coach, that it's 
It's a tremendous honor to be standing on a football field with you. <laughs> uh, Barney? Why don't you go kick some balls for us, okay? okay sure, I'm gonna... I'm gonna come and kick some balls. Of a kick. Try another. The game situation is a lot different than this nonsense. What I'm looking for is accuracy and consistency under pressure. Now let's see some uh, accuracy and consistency. Let's have the doctor take a look at it. Cholesterol is high, blood pressure is high, pulse rate's a little high, and uh, I'd keep an eye on that prostate. Oh, well, hey. <laughs> Do you work out, Marty? Well, uh, I play softball in the summer. I mean, that's not really working out, unless it's your turn to carry the cooler, you know? <laughs> How did your leg get so strong, Barney? I'm uh, working out with Ethel. Oh, she's your trainer? No, my garbage truck. You see, her hydraulic unit is busted, and, um, and in order to get it to work, you know, I gotta, like, I gotta, like, kick it, sort of like that. Oh! Hello, oh, Coach! Coach, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Oh, I'm sorry. Barney, would you excuse us, please, for a few moments? We have to discuss something in front. Please? Please? So what do you think, Doc? Can you okay him? Yeah, I, I think so. He has no business on a football field. Oh, come on, coach. Tom Dempsey kicked the longest field goal in the history of the NFL. He only had half a foot. This is an insult to my team. It's a public relations gold mine. The field goal kicking garbage man. Yes, and I'll be the owner who gave the regular guy a shot at the NFL. I'll sell 100,000 extra tickets to boot. I'm talking about winning games, not selling tickets. If you were winning games, we wouldn't be worried about selling tickets. Come on, coach. Give him a shot. If it doesn't work out, we'll terminate the deal. I need a professional kicker, not a garbage man. He can't take the punishment of the NFL. He's a kicker, for goodness sake. How much punishment can there be? You'd be surprised. You want another lobster, Barney? No, three's my limit. <laughs> three's his limit. <laughs> you know, son, your dad kicked that football further than anybody I've ever seen. He really did. I had no idea he could even kick. You really think he's good enough to play with the Eagles? I know he is. He's got a lot of moxie, your husband. I only wish I had more like him. Mr. Pratt has put together what I believe is a very generous offer to secure your services as place kicker for the Philadelphia Eagles. That's a lot of zeros. <laughs> Funny. Oh, my God. So what do you say, Barney? You want to become the newest member of the Philadelphia Eagles? Yeah. Okay, you got a deal. <laughs> All right! <laughs> yeah! yeah. 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 Please. <laughs> You think I'm making a mistake here? You're not going to quit your job at the city, are you? <laughs> what, and leave garbage? No. 
I know this won't last forever. And of course it's not a mistake. Did you see the look on Danny's face today? <laughs> I've never seen him so thrilled. Yeah. What's the matter? Well, I mean, right now I may be an idiot, but not too many people know about it. If I mess this up, the whole city's gonna know. You're not an idiot. And you're not gonna mess this up. Well, why don't I believe in myself as much as you do? Because you worry too much. It's just a game. It's not just a game, Marie. It's, it's the Philadelphia Eagles, the NFL. I don't know if I can stand that kind of pressure. Pressure? Trying to pay our bills every month, that's pressure. This is just kicking a ball. It'll be fun. And what if I choke? What if I'm just a big gagmeister like Mitchell? Mr. Pratt said you were great. Barney, if you're going to do this, you have to remember that it's just a game. Because that's what it is. A game. I did kick that ball pretty far, didn't I? Maybe you're right. Maybe this is my big break. I'm finally going to do something that I'm proud of. That's right. Then all of Philadelphia is going to look up to Barney Gorman. That kick has given me nightmares for two days. But our nightmare is just beginning. The front office just signed a new place kicker. Unfortunately, he's not a professional kicker. What we're getting is a garbage man. Meet Barney Gorman. Coach, what do you mean he's a garbage man? I mean he's a garbage man. He picks up garbage for a living. What? <laughs> Where'd he go to college, P.U.? <laughs> it's got to be a joke, right? I wish it was. Oh. Oh. Right, quiet down, quiet down. Quiet down. I don't like it either. But he's what we're getting. For now. Suit up. Oh. Oh. last week. Oh, I get it. We're like rivals, huh? I just thought maybe because the rest of the team hates us that we, you know, I... Look, we're not friends. We're not peers. You understand? I went to the Pro Bowl. Those guys are just trying to make me look like a fool by bringing in some, uh, Hired old garbage picking amateur. No offense. I'm taking it. <laughs> well, you know, you, you may have been to the Pro Bowl, but you know, right now you stink. No offense. 
Field goal unit. Mitchell, get in here. What's the work with, Um, um, it's, um, I'm just, I'm just more comfortable with it, sir. Give him a look out, Block. <laughs> See if the garbage man can kick the ball. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'd like to try that again, coach. I don't know. That seemed like a professional kick to me. Let's end on that note. Bring it! Oh. 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 One, two, three. Go, Eagles! standing tonight if you, if you don't mind did you meet the other players oh yeah yeah i met them all met them all. Met, met the whole defensive line we we got very close uh, really yeah let's play catch no 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 son I, i've had enough football for today wanna come on sit down finish your dessert good boy i made your favorite ribs oh that's great i'm i'm, I'm, I'm just gonna stand if you don't mind mm. well, i hope mm. you don't come home this late every mm. night you're gonna forget you have a family mm. no i don't believe me Family always comes first. I mean, things are not going to change that much, okay? Mm. Well, I mm. guess not. You just got rib sauce all over me again. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Um, it's okay. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Not that bad. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. What are you laughing about? How the hell's Oh, oh. I want to be are laugh. Okay? It hurts when I laugh. Hey, Eagles fans will get a kick out of this. The team is signed to Eagles have acquired Barney They're Gorman, a Philadelphia team. sanitation worker with no Gorman's signing experience. has been met with mixed fan reaction. I'll tell you why they hired a garbage man. They stink. The whole team piled on me. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Barney, is it all right if we follow you around today? Follow me on my garbage route? Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing it's a slow news day, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. What you... Okay, sure. Come on, let's go. Barney, I understand that part of your training regimen is kicking your truck. Can you demonstrate uh, this? Yeah, well, you see, uh, Ethel, she's a good old truck, but her hydraulic unit needs a little help, so uh, what I do is... <laughs> yeah. Now what do you say? Let's go to work. <laughs> We're gonna be on the news! Yeah. Tonight the whole city will see us pick up their trash. Hey, don't let it go to your head. Hey! You want to pass for these party? I know, but I'll wrestle you for it. Is your juice? <laughs> Way to go, Barn. We're real proud of you, man. Oh, oh, thanks very much. Thank you, big guy. <laughs> this new Eagles owner must be a good guy. Yeah. All right, thanks. Right, Stay right. warm, okay? Okay. Did right. yeah. you bring that? Uh, Mr. Pratt, Mr. Pratt, yes, yes. Mr. Pratt, why an amateur? Why not a professional kicker? I'll tell you something. Barney Gorman can kick the ball as well as any professional I've ever seen. 
<laughs> and something else, I kind of like the idea of giving a regular guy a chance to play in the NFL. Oh. Barney, is there anything you'd like to say to the people of Philadelphia? Um, uh, yeah, uh, you know, when you, you see a piece of trash on the street, pick it up, throw it in the can. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, I'd like to say hi to my, my wife, Marie, and my, and my son, Danny. <laughs> 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 Let Gorman kick the ball today. Gorman! Okay. All right. One, two, three. It's just a game. It's just a game. Let's see you match it. Gorman, last one. Okay, just a game. I want you checked into the hotel by 8 and focused on beating the Redskins. Hands in. One, two, three. Go, Eagles! Right. Uh, Gorman was good. He was great. I'm going to start him tomorrow. You really think he's ready? We'll find out. You guys need something to drink? Man, I ate like a pig. Man, you ate a pig. Hey, look who's hanging with Bub. Oh, I missed, missed some. You finally finished? Oh, no, no. I, I was just wondering if I could get another one of those barbecue sandwiches. <laughs> sure. don't see why a grown man has to stay in a hotel for a home game. Honey, it's hard on me, too. You think I want to be here? How's your roommate? <laughs> He's, uh, big. And speaking of big, I got a big day tomorrow, so I gotta go, okay? All right, good night. I love you. Hey, listen, listen, uh, kiss Danny for me. I will. Uh, wouldn't go in there if I were you. Oh, come on, hey. I'm a garbage man. You know, there's, there's nothing this nose hasn't smelled. <laughs> oh. 
Um, Bubba, w would it be all right if I took this bed? Why? Well, um, it's just that at home, I, I usually sleep closer to the door. You know, it's just an instinct thing. You know, I protect the wife. <laughs> you think I'm the wife? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just going to take this bed here. Excuse me. This is a fine bed here. This, this bed will be, uh... That'll be fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Bubba, have you seen my pillow mint? No. Right. Hmm. Night, Bubba. much hard in this locker room lately. That's what it takes to win football games. Heart, are you willing to give your heart to win this game? Yes! Will you play your hearts out for the Philadelphia Eagles? Yes! Let's go! Yes! Garbage man. I'm giving you the start today. Huh? The start? Coach, I'm, 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 I'm not ready. G. 
Good job, Brady. Good job. Good one, man. Good job, Brady. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Brady. Hey, ho, 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 Barbie, man. You're on the wrong side. We're over here. Come on. Casey looks towards the end zone. The throw is incomplete. And that'll bring up the G-Man's first NFL field goal. Let me tell you, folks, Barney Gorman must have some awfully big butterflies in his stomach right now. Sidelines in. No. Dollar Bill Casey overthrows his man. Field goal. Go. Barney Gorman is looking at a 45 yard kick into stiff winds. The kick is up. It's long enough. It's straight enough. It is good. People might have thought this guy was a joke, but let me tell you something. Barney Gorman is for real. Yes. Barney, doesn't it scare you battling against these monsters of the NFL? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, for the last 17 years I've been battling rats. At least these guys won't bite you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they go garbage, man. Oh. Well, most of them, anyhow. <laughs> tell us about that game-winning field goal. Well, you got a chance to help them. Hello once again, everybody. I'm Chris Berman, and welcome to NFL Prime Time. The big story this evening comes from the city of brotherly love. The Eagles put away the Redskins with the help of this man, the garbage man from the city of Philadelphia, Barney Rubble Gorman. kicking one straight on once, you know? Maybe you'll get more leg behind it or something. Look, I, I've been kicking this way since I was a kid, all right? Well, you know, just try one, one time. Take a shot. Yeah, sure. Badgy, man. Let's go. Huddle up. Kiss Danny for me, okay? Okay. Good night, hon. <sighs> hey, don't you have to call your wife? Oh, no, no. I called her twice a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hey, hey. Bubba, let's go. Get up, Come baby. on. Get up. Hey, what are we going to do for wheels? Ta-da. I traded the bellhop some tickets for his car. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, let's go. Oh, man. What? We gotta take the garbage man. I'm not taking the garbage man with dollar bill Casey. Hey, hey. If Rogie does room check, do you want him doing the talking for us? Good point. Wait a minute, guys. Wait, wait, wait a minute. minute. Where are we going? 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 Fill up and you don't have to pay. Da, da, da. No more eagles to play. Do you wash? 
Why is he breathing so hard? Um, because, uh, because we, uh, we were working out, sir. You know, Bubba's got to make weight. Go to sleep. Night, coach. Welcome to the Eagles, G-Man. Thanks, Bob. I'm proud to introduce our new trash bag spokesman. And in Philly, once again, the G-Man sweeps up. His three field goals help the Eagles take the roar out of the Lions. Mavis, Mavis, what are you doing down here in the rain? Well, it only took me a half an hour. Oh, get inside, sweetheart. You're going to get sold. These people are maniacs. Yeah, we'll never get anything done. Come on, let's get out of here. Let me get this straight. All I have to do is sit there, and they'll pay me to sign my autograph? <laughs> yeah, I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just have to get Friday off. OK. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Wendy. Bye. How do you like that, huh? They want me to sign my autograph at a memorabilia show. I can make a couple of thousand bucks. Get how? Yeah. That is great. <laughs> Oh, we couldn't get anything done. You what? Well, we couldn't get to the trash. <laughs> I don't know if you know it, but, uh, you know, you got a star working for you now. Yeah, we read about one thing. You are working for me, except now you're suspended. You have no respect for this job. I got no respect, huh? Well, kiss off, because I quit. Oh, yeah? Hey, he, he doesn't mean it. Well, Barney, where, where are you going? Sayonara. Friday. Can you make it? A special career day? Well, I think we can work that out, huh? Well, I'd like to see you around here for dinner every once in a while, stranger. Well, you're gonna see me around here a lot more often. Mm -hmm. I quit my job at the city today. You what? I quit my job at the city. Cool! We didn't talk about this. Well, what's to talk about? I mean, I'm a professional football player. My days of hauling garbage are behind me. I thought it was just a game. No, no, not anymore. No, next week, I'm doing a memorabilia show. People are gonna pay money for my autograph. Barney. Oh, sweetheart, listen, I got a million things to do before I get to the stadium, okay? We'll talk later. Mm, I love you. Okay. Hey, 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 Dan, what about this for my, my touchdown dance? <laughs> you like it? Yeah. I think it needs more, though. I gotta go. Come on, help me pack.
362 pounds? Um, oh, forgot something. Car keys. Oh, Joseph. If you're not under 350 by tomorrow, come here. You're suspended. Go. Go. Where's your keys? Room service. Oh, 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 what are you doing here? I have an order for Bubba Down. No, no, get out of here. Come on, get out of here. Wait, wait. Come on, good. Go, go, go. Hey, hey, go, 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 Down at the five. That had a hurt. Congratulations. You gained six pounds. You're suspended. That'll cost you 85,000 bucks. And the next time you're off the team. What a day this has been. The Dolphins are up by one with 23 seconds left in the game. And Barney Gorman is looking at a 75-yard field goal for the win. I gotta make it. Gotta make it. Relax, it's just a game. Gorman is attempting to break the NFL record by a full 12 yards. Talk about pressure. Here's the kick, and it's... In the stands. <laughs> wow, that wasn't even close. So the Eagles lose on Barney Gorman's embarrassing NFL record of two. Hey Barney, anyone would have missed that kick. Yeah, right. But you really missed it. Hey, Pop, could we talk about something else, please? Hey, Dad, the special career day is this Friday. You can make it, right? Yeah, yeah, I can make it. What about the bowling Thursday? I can't make that. You haven't bowled a frame since you quit. The guys keep asking about you. Where's Barney? When are we going to see Barney? Well, why don't you tell the guys to get a life, okay, Larry? Barney. What? I'm just... Where are you going, Larry? Oh, come on. As you know, this afternoon we're having a special career day. And we have one of the most interesting speakers we've ever had. A professional athlete. We'll start as soon as Mr. Gorman arrives. Who do I make this out to? Winky with an IE. Here's a hundred more. Oh, no, I can't. I, I have to speak at my son's class in an hour. Oh, you'll be all right. It's only a hundred. Besides, you don't want to disappoint your young fans, do you? <laughs> young fans. I got a career day! come out of his room. I thought you said the family always comes first. The family does come first. I'm doing this for the family. I made a lot of money for the family today. You know, I'm a commodity. I didn't marry a commodity. I married you. Look, look, we're on the gravy train, sweetheart. You know, we have to strike while the iron is still hot. You know, when the, when the going gets tough... Just save your cliches for the teammates. All right, I'm coming. No, look, sweetheart, I'll see you at the game, okay? No, you won't. All right. What are you doing? I'm having a little snack. Are you out of your mind, Bubba? 
All right, come on, get out of that bed. We're gonna work this off right now. No, it's too late, man. It is not. Give me that. It's not too late. Come on, I'll do it with you. <clears throat> if you are not out of that bed in three seconds, I'm gonna kick your butt. <laughs> you are gonna kick my butt? You heard me. One, two, three. <laughs> up to the 12 and that'll be close to the first. Casey thinks he's got it. The referee signals no. Field goal. That's going to bring up a field goal and here comes the G-Man. He's already missed an extra point in a 24-yarder. He'll try to redeem himself here from 32. Here's Foreman's kick. It's up and oh, he hooks it. And the Boobers come out here at Veterans Stadium. He better get it next time or I'm going to cut off his foot. Wait a minute. Yeah, you tell him. Here it comes. Yeah, go back to the way, Game tied with 20 seconds remaining and the fans are chanting, we want a kicker, not a garbage picker. If Gorman makes this kick, the Eagles win. If not, we go into overtime. Gorman kicks a scribbler. Walker picks it up. He's at the 40. The 50, there's no one in front of him. The 30, the 20, oh my! Touchdown Giants! What a heartbreaker. I would not want to be Barney Gorman right now. And it was just a dreadful day for Eagles fans today. Barney Gorman. Look for highs around 40 till Wednesday, dropping off at the end of the week with a chance of... I'm sorry I didn't Christmas. make it to the game today. The rest of Philadelphia is sorry I did make it. I hate what this game is doing to you. To us. Sweetheart, I'm sorry I've been such a jerk. I mean, things are going to change. I promise. Well, I'd love to have you home for a romantic dinner tomorrow. You would? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want to have dinner with the biggest loser in Philadelphia? Making a big deal out of nothing. No one will even remember this tomorrow. Well, folks, here is the most hated man in Philadelphia. Barney Gorman missed four kicks today. Well, most people won't.
Gorman, you couldn't hit a bull's butt with a handful of rice. He's just not working out. Get rid of him. He's your monster, Dr. Frankenstein. You get rid of him. Oh, I'm sorry, Coach. It's your job. Dawson, I'll see you guys at O'Flannery's around 8 o'clock, huh? Yeah, I'll see you there, man. Okay. Hey, O'Flannery's, huh? Sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah. See you, coach. Later. Hey, guys, wait up. Talk to you a minute. Uh, coach, you can't do this to me. We're not in the charity business. We're in the winning business, and lately business has been poor. Yeah, but, coach, there's only one game left. Sorry. Orders from Mr. Pratt. You're out. Clear out your locker. Can I get a picture with you? Sure, okay. <laughs> I got it. Come on, let's go. Hey, you okay, G? Oh, yeah, thanks. Man, Ricky never solves any problems. Come on, G, man. You going home with me? Oh. And you're sure there were no other accidents? Thank you, officer. If you are going to be sick, please have the courtesy of doing it outside. Oh, you saw me behind him. Oh, my head. Oh, my head. So, are you married, my friend? Yeah, yeah, I'm married. Oh, there, there it is. This is it right here. I shall wait right here. Explain. So if you don't mind my asking, what happened to you? You follow American football? No, oh, no, not really. No, I hardly followed at all. Well, see, I I played for the Eagles and I I missed this kick yesterday. You are Barney Gomez!
all security. Mr. Pratt, look, you've got to let me finish out this season. Now, I never asked to be on this team. I was drafted. Sure, it was from a dump, but I was drafted all the same. Now, the only way I can save face with my family and, and maybe get my old life back is if, if you let me finish out this season. There's just one game left, Mr. Pratt. Let me stay one game, and then I'll retire on my own. I'm sorry, Barney. I can't do it. I, I just can't. Good luck to you. You owe it to him, Mr. Pratt. I don't owe him anything. Barney, I've given you a great deal of money, haven't I? I've been fair to you. And just think of all the great stories you're going to have to tell your grandkids. You were an eagle, a Philadelphia eagle. So good luck. Well, I owe it to him, then. It's Christmas Eve, Mr. Pratt. And if you can't let this man play one more game, then I'm sorry, I just can't work for you anymore. Merry Christmas, Gorman. Thank you, Mr. Pratt. Thank you so much. Thank you. Merry Thanks, Christmas. Wendy. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, security. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, you've reached the Gormans. Please leave a message at the beep. Hi, it's me again. I, uh... Oh, I hope you got the flowers I sent you. Look, uh... You guys have my number of... I love you guys. Hello? Get you for about 190 a night. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, how many uh, channels you got? About 30, Pop. Not bad. <laughs> get all the uh, movie channels? I guess so. I don't know. About 90 a night, you ought to. Hey, Pop, you call me to talk about the TV? Marie kicked me out. I called her, I sent flowers. I tried to explain what happened, but she won't even talk to me. I saw her tonight. She wants you home. She's worried sick about you. She is? Yeah. Ah, oh, come on, Pop. What are you talking about? I can't go back there now. I, I let everybody down. I blew it. I did. I blew it. I, I had the fancy car and the big money like Peter. For the first time in my life, you were proud of me. I let you down, too. I've always been proud of you. Well, then, maybe you should have said it once in a while, then, Pop. You gotta let your kids know that you're proud of them. Look, after your mom died, I was mad at the whole world. Maybe sometime I took it out on you, Barney. I, I'm sorry. And I must have done something right. Because you turned out to be a better man than me. <laughs> Come on, let's go home, son. Enough of this, enough of this mushy stuff. Come on. Can I get you back, huh? Yeah. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Christmas. Dad! Like a pal. Oh, no, I was my boy. 
boy, huh? Did you make it? <laughs> I always make those, Coach. I know that I've made things tough on you, Gorman. Nothing personal. I've idolized you for 20 years, Coach. Finally get the chance to meet you, and you hate me. <laughs> I don't hate you. You just weren't the type of player I was looking for. That's all. I always wanted to be the type of player that Gus Rogenheimer would want on his team. You've got nothing to be ashamed of, Barney. Most guys would have given up after that first day. But you never quit. Thanks, Coach. A Merry Christmas to everyone, and welcome to Veterans Stadium. Chris Berman here with you to call today's game between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. The Eagles need a win today in order to preserve the future of their coach, Gus Rogenheimer. Casey, back to pass, looks for a receiver, finds his fullback in the left flat. He moves forward, but it's not going to be enough for the first down. And that should bring up a field goal. After last week's debacle, Gus Rogenheimer has benched the G-man. Field goal! Now, come on, Mitch, huh? No, it's just a game. This is all yours. Thanks, man. Go get him. Instead, on. he's Go going on. with Mitchell. But this is a long kick, and I, I think it's out of his range. Case, hang on. Hey, look at this. Mitchell's kicking straight on. I guess he picked something up from the G-Man. boy, Mitch! Come on, baby, knock it down! You sure you know what you're doing? Stop the ball. Set. The ball is snapped. The kick is up, it's on the way. It's good! Hey, Mitchell's on to something here. Oh, yeah! Aikman drops back quickly into the pocket. Looks to the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys. Picked off by Dallas. And let get him go. He's off to the races. Smith takes the handoff off left tackle. Touchdown, Dallas. The Eagles are getting manhandled by the Cowboys here in the first half. What about pursuit on defense? I don't see it. You linemen are moving about as fast as a steamer clam on a frog's belly. These guys are in your house. They're running out the back door with your mom's TV set. Are you going to let them steal your mom's TV? So this is it. We're just going to roll over and die for them, huh? No! Oh, hey, what's Gorman? You call yourselves Philadelphia Eagles? I've been an Eagle fan my whole life. You don't look like Philadelphia Eagles. You look like a bunch of stockbrokers in helmets. You know, with all the money and special treatment we get, it's, it's easy to forget what this game is all about. I know. I got caught up in it, too. But we have a tradition to keep here. We're the Philadelphia Eagles, not the Los Angeles whoever's. This team is bigger than you and me. It's bigger than all of us because we come and go. But those fans, those fans out there, they stay. And that's what this team is all about. 
know, my dad's out there in those stands today. He's been an Eagle fan for 70 years. If the Eagles lose on Sunday, you can't even talk to him until Wednesday. And there's a million other people just like him. The Eagles game is the best three hours they get. It gets them through the rest of the week. There's a lot of people in this town who would love a chance to win the big game. But they'll never get the chance. You know, the cops, the, the bus drivers, the butchers. That's who we're playing for. Are you guys going to let them down? Well, are you? No! no! Are you? No! no! Come on. So then let's get out there and win one. For the hard working people no, of no, the no. Casey throws. He catches made of the 25, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling out of the 15. That's a big time play. Corner blitz. Boom! Big hit. Dallas pops it up. Eagles score again. Mitchell is perfect so far today. Attempts is from the 42. It's good! And the Eagles pulled in two. The one with the onside kick makes sure the ball bounces high. The Eagles only chance is to kick it onside and to hope they come up with the football. Remember, the ball must go 10 yards before it's in play. Everyone to the right side looking for the big bounce. It's loose. It's off the Dallas hand. Off an Eagles hand. Dawson recovers. Referee says, Philadelphia football. What happened here? I, uh, I headbutted him. The Eagles are going to have to do without the services of Mitchell. Get this. He was knocked unconscious by a headbutt administered by one Barney Gorman. Mitchell, can you go back in? Mommy, my head hurts. Did the Eagles go for the touchdown? Or did they take their chances with Barney Gorman? Can you make this kick? It's a done deal, coach. I like your spirit, Gorman. Here you go! Here you go! Go, go, go! Boy, I tell you, if Philadelphia pulls this off, they'll be giving the Eagles faithful a Christmas present they will remember forever. You ready? It's just a game. Gorman for the winning field goal. It's in for Lawrence. Casey's got it. Still on his feet. He's burned. Gets a big block by Bummer down. Gorman's at the five. He could go all the way. Touchdown, G-Man! Philadelphia win! Yes! Yes! You get it, Dave! You're the man! You're the man!
think, you know, as we help them, they appreciate it. Yes. What have you learned about pro football that you didn't know before? Well, I'm going to cut these guys a lot more slack from now on. I mean, they're just trying to do their job like you and me. It's just that they happen to do their job in front of millions of people. Why retire now? You're a hero. Why am I a hero? Because I play football. It's easy. It's fun. I know people who pick up garbage all day long. Just so the rest of us can live on clean streets. I mean, that's not easy or fun. I mean, if you ask me, for hard-working folks like that, you know, busting their hump, trying to raise good kids, doing the right thing, they're the heroes. Thank <laughs> you.